In this video, we will take a look at the foundation. So we have the soil where the home is going to be built and the footings, but we haven't poured the concrete yet. So let's go ahead and zoom around and take a look at this, of course, would be the garage. And this would be the front footing for the house. And this one here would be where the garage door is, where you would drive into the garage. Then we have a nice long footing. These usually make for easy homes, easier homes to build than a bunch of angles and twists and turns. Keep it simple, and uh, that usually means it's going to be inexpensive. Or uh, when it comes to building a home, I don't know if we can even use the word inexpensive. The footings for this home, single story house, are 12 inches by 12 inches. That would be 12 inches wide and then 12 inches tall. Slab, I think, was about five inches. Go ahead and put some rebar in there. Rebar will go in the footing, usually centers in the footing. And it's usually got to be three inches away from the soil. So it would be three inches above the soil here. This is where it intersects into the garage. And you can kind of get the idea that the rebar here wouldn't go through. Otherwise, it would be um, sticking out and above the concrete slab. Throw some anchor bolts in there. And the anchor bolts for this one here, since it's, this rebar is a little higher, it's going to be for the stem wall, top of the stem wall. And um, usually it's going to be touching the anchor bolts. And you can see here where it's not. This rebar is not touching this anchor bolt. Some, and that's what it would look like with the concrete. And you get, remember the garage door opening is here. And then the entry to the house is right here. Other side of the garage door, two pieces of rebar in the bottom and the footing, and then the other rebar in the top here. And um, I'm providing you with this example, but if you were to build a house like this, you might, the engineer might require different um, rebar locations um, for something like this. Just gonna throw that out there. There's the stem wall. And uh, it's usually going to, we, for this one, we have a six inch stem wall six inches wide and we're only going to be using two by four for our plates so the uh, anchor bolts will need to center in this area they're not going to center in the stem wall they're not going to be located three inches in they're going to be located about an inch and three quarters in and then depending on which side you put the rebar on probably going to want to put the rebar on this side here how i have it otherwise it would be a little closer to the edge and i don't know I want to say it's two inches. You can have, it's three inches if it's in the ground away from the edge of the concrete. And I believe it's two inches for this, but uh, that really wouldn't uh, help with the anchor bolts if you think about it, because they're only going to be about an inch and a half away, depending upon the size of them. Other corner of the garage and uh, the Rebar, of course, would be on the inside here and the inside. Now, I wanted to take a look at the lap. I don't have some of the rebar here lapping throughout the rest of the video, but I wanted to give you an idea of what a lap would look like. You're not going to have a 150-foot rebar and be able to bend it like I do did in this video. But if you do lap it, it usually laps 20 times the diameter. That's kind of standard. I'm, I'm sorry, 40 times the diameter. If it's a half inch, um, half inch diameter rebar, then the lap, the minimum lap would be 20 inches. So 40 times the diameter, I'm sorry about that. 20 inches is such a standard thing for me using half inch rebar. And you can see here where the rebar on the bottom is lapping. This one here goes this way the bottom one that goes to the garage would need to be tied to this. And then the top where the stem wall is, this one here could run in and tie into this one if this one was going to be raised for the stem wall. So again, this would depend on the 
um, be more up to the engineer on how all of this is going to tie together here. And then of course this rebar here, this one and this one are uh, more or less in the footing for the garage. And this one here is just kind of going into here in the La La Land or whatever. And uh, that's uh, another. This is fine as long as, and again, I don't know how far this would have to extend. It might be four feet, but this is a common method used for um, this type of assembly also. Rebar on the corner. Throw some concrete in there, huh? That's how fast you build these things. The slab, and we have the anchor bolts in here. And that is it for this video. So I hope it gives you a better idea of how something like this might be constructed. Remember, this is no guarantee that this is how this will be constructed. Um, just an idea of ways that I've seen them constructed in the past.